Yo, what's going on everybody? My name's Josh and today I'm going to show you how to prep, flavor, and use corn to catch some big beautiful carp. Now anybody that's ever carp fished already knows that corn is one of the absolute best baits you can use to catch these awesome fish. You can pick up 50 pound bags of corn at several different stores that are typically easy to find in most locations like Walmart, Tractor Supply, uh, Rural King, or your local co-op. Now corn prices usually vary depending upon the time of year and demand for corn. I've bought 50 pound bags for as little as five or six bucks a bag, all the way up to 15 or $20 depending on the season. While it's all the same, you may hear different people call it by different names like hard corn, deer corn, field corn, or even maize. Now the fastest and easiest way to prep your corn is by using a pressure cooker. While in the past, these may not have been very common in most homes, it seems like in today's day and age, they're quite popular as they're used to cook various items in a quick manner. To get started, it's pretty simple. Really, we're just gonna add the desired amount of corn we would like to prep and cover it with plenty of water. Next, we're gonna set the desired cook time for about 30 minutes and fire it up. While the corn is cooking, you could tie up some rigs or just kick back and relax. Once the timer ends, it's time to release the pressure. This is a very important step. You do not want to open a pressure cooker until the pressure has been released. Now at this stage, the corn should be soft enough that you can place it between your two fingers and smash it in half. Now, if you're gonna use this as a chum, you're pretty much good to go. Just toss it in a bucket or other container. Keep it covered with water. It'll stay nice and soft for you. Just keep in mind after a few days that will start to sour on you. Now, if you're looking to make some flavor packed hook baits, then stick around, I'll show you how. Find yourself a nice small container and just toss you a scoop of corn in it. Now, believe it or not, that should be plenty of hook baits long enough to last several sessions. One of the easiest ways I've found to do this is simply use a carb specific flavoring. As most are made with an ingredient called propylene glycol, this is an additive that various manufacturers use to keep baits and even foods shelf stable. Today we're going to be using some Fish On Flavors Red Grape. If this is a product you're interested in, I'll put a link in the video description. Shake it up and make sure it's mixed thoroughly. And then it's as simple as pouring it right on top. Pour in enough to cover all of your corn, and that should give it a nice, long, stable shelf life. I like to keep mine in the refrigerator, but that doesn't really matter. Oh man, do these smell good. Now the best rig to use with corn is called a hair rig. If any of y'all are interested in learning how to tie this, I'll put a link in the video description to an in-depth video on how to tie it. This is the best rig to catch carp on because it keeps the hook nice and clean and free from any obstruction. It allows for an excellent hook set in the bottom of the jaw, most of the time. All right, we're coming to the end of this video. Let me know in the comments below what your favorite cart bait is. As always, thanks for watching. Hope you all have a great day. And don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. Peace.